unleashing the energy of millions of nuclear weapons. Nowhere is safe, with debris flying everywhere. Debris as big as entire city blocks circle the Earth. The blast wave races out from the impact zone like shrapnel from an exploding bomb. Minutes after impact, hundreds of miles from where the asteroid struck, the Earth is under attack. Boulders rain down. Earthquakes shake the ground. and tsunamis batter the coasts. But the onslaught has only just begun. The plume of molten rock and dust spreads out and engulfs the planet. The entire sky acts like a giant lamp. Heating the Earth's surface to over 500 degrees. Vegetation spontaneously ignites. Even months after the impact, Smoke and ash still block out the sun's rays. And with less sunlight, plants die and the animals starve. Sixty-five million years ago, the impact has blasted, stoned, and burnt the dinosaurs. Their 165 million year reign is over. But the dinosaur's demise brings opportunity for another species. A mammal. By living underground, mammals have avoided the heat and fires. And by eating anything, they thrive while more selective eaters die. They're the unlikely inheritors of the dinosaur's crowd. And as one story ends, another begins. With the dinosaurs out of the way, our ancestors may now have a chance at life. Dinosaurs are long dead. 
the planet is peaceful. In this new world, our mammal ancestors are evolving. Forty-seven million years ago, this lake in what will one day be Germany is the perfect place to spot them. Unlike earlier mammals, its eyes and brain are bigger. This is Darwinius Massillae, or Ida. The lake sits on a volcanic crater. It belches out noxious gas that eventually kills Ida. Forty-seven million years ago, the atmosphere is much like today. The temperature is 75 degrees, and the day lasts just under 24 hours. The Earth is now almost identical to the planet we call home. Almost. plates are on the move again. India moves north toward Asia. The Indian and Asian plates are locked in a titanic struggle. Neither plate is winning. As they buckle, the ocean floor contorts upward 